Hell freezes over. Adam Schiff gives President Trump credit by Amy Moreno for truthfeednews.com. Democrats are in a bit of a pickle. They can't attack President Trump on his historic leadership skills and strength in dealing with North Korea, so they've uh, reluctantly had to give him credit. And we have to admit it's fun to watch them eat crow. Yes, it is. Let's take a quick listen. What's it like? Uh... Because I want to play what President Trump had to say just last night about all this. They were saying, what do you think uh, President Trump had to do with it? I'll tell you what. <laughs> like, how about everything? <laughs> okay, so I don't imagine you agree that he has everything to do with this, but doesn't the president deserve credit for at least partial credit for what we're seeing unfold on the Korean Peninsula? Uh, John, I think it's more than fair to say that the combination of the president's unpredictability and indeed his bellicosity uh, had something to do with the North Koreans deciding uh, to come to the table. But before the president takes too much credit or hangs out the mission accomplished banner, uh, he needs to realize that uh, we may go into a confrontational phase and he may not want the full blame uh, if things go south. Uh, so he ought to be a little circumspect about that. But most important for this president is when things do become confrontational, as is likely to happen, it's going to be very important that we are lashed up with our allies, South Korea and Japan. Otherwise, North Korea will pick us apart. And this president isn't particularly good about lashing up with our allies. And also mentioned you didn't Iran agreement uh, with the secretary, but if we walk away from that Iran deal, it will not only make it much more difficult to get to yes with the North Koreans, but it will also breed a lot of distrust with our South Korean allies about whether they can rely. Well, I didn't actually hear him uh, say you got to give. Uh, I want to play what President Trump had to say just uh, but last I like about all Trump's this. message there. They were saying, what do you think? Uh, President Trump had to do with it. I'll tell you what. Like, how about everything? <laughs> I still get a kick out of okay, that. Okay, so I don't imagine you agree that he has everything to do with this, but doesn't the president deserve credit for at least partial credit for what we're seeing unfold on the Korean Peninsula? Uh, John, I think it's more than fair to say that the combination of the president's unpredictability and indeed his bellicosity uh, had something to do with the North Koreans deciding uh, to come to the table. But before the... You see, his bellicosity, where did he come up with that word? Like, you get what I'm saying? It was prepared. He knew what he was going to be asked. Uh, yeah, he sort of said it, but he, he uh, dismissed it, in a sense. Uh, and uh, he wants to stay in the Iran deal. So what, let's, I got a suggestion. Let's take out the uh, payment from his salary uh, so we can, uh, you know, keep Iran happy. Uh, what is it, uh, half a billion dollars per year, every two payments? Uh, or is it, yeah, it's about a half a billion dollars uh, for the year it, it done in two payments. So uh, I say get all the Democrats that are, that are out there, uh, all these uh, leaders here, Hillary Clinton, all of them, and uh, let them pay Iran, and we'll be more than happy to pay Iran. Let them pay for it. That's no problem. We, I don't have any uh, qualms about Hillary taking out of her pocket and Adam Schiff and all the Democrats like Nancy Pelosi and the rest of them. Since, you know, we should stay in the Iran deal, I say let's stay in the Iran deal and let them pay for it. How about that? Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And again, thank you so much for watching.